What's up guys, it's Meegs, back with another video for you guys today. I'm just going to go over yield to maturity and yield to call. Uh, something I'm learning in school right now, so I figured that I'd make a video in case anybody's taking a similar class in the future and is just not quite understanding what yield to maturity and yield to call are. So I'm going to give two examples and then uh, I will show you guys how to um, basically work through the, uh, the, the problems um, to find the solution for the, the average rate of return and the yield to call for a bond as well. So we'll start off with yield to maturity. Uh, I have an example. So it says, suppose an 8% coupon 30-year bond is selling for $1,150. What is its average rate of return? Now, right off the bat, we want to fill out uh, the number of periods, the present value, the future value, the payment, and then we'll be able to find the rate from there, which is the yield of maturity. So number of periods, we're going to put in 30 because that is the life of the bond, 30-year bond. We're assuming it's an annual bond. If it says semi-annual, you just need to take the number of periods and double it because it'd be semi-annual payments. Um, but for this one, it's just gonna, we're just going to assume it's an annual payment. Uh, the present value, since the bond is selling for $1,150, the present value is negative $1,150. Always make sure that you put the negative sign in front of the present value. The future value, at the end of the 30 years, it's going to be worth $1,000. Now the payment, we're going to take $1,000. We're going to multiply it by the coupon rate, which is the 8%. So it gives us $80 for the payment. After that, we can type in the function rate and start filling this out. So the number of periods, 30. The payment, 80. The present value is negative 1150. And the future value is 1000. And that gives us a rate of 6.81%. That is our yield to maturity. Moving on to yield to call. We're going to keep the same numbers just for simplicity's sake. Um, suppose the 8% coupon 30-year bond sells for $1,150 and is callable in 10 years at a call price of $1,100. How would you find the yield to call for this bond? So for this one, we're going to do the number of periods, which is not 30 this time. Since it's callable in 10 years, the number of periods is going to be 10. Still an annual uh, payment. We don't see a semi-annual in this question. So we're going to just do 10 because it's callable in 10 years. The present value, right now it's selling for 1150 still, so we don't need to do anything with that. It's the same as the uh, the yield maturity. Now the future value is different. Now it says it, it's callable in 10 years at a call price of $1,100. So we're gonna make the future value 1100 here. The payment, we're still gonna do the what we did above, the uh, 1000 times the coupon payment, 0 0.08, 80. And then from here, we're able to find the rate for this as well, which will give us the yield to call. So the number of periods, which is 10, the payment, uh, which is 80, the present value of negative 1150, and the future value, which is 1100. And from there, we're able to see that our yield to call rate is 6.64%. I hope you guys like this video and I hope it helps you guys um, figure out yield to maturity and yield to call. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, I'll see you in the next one.